So in this video, I want to talk about Classroom of the Elite. And before people get the pitchforks and get angry in the comments, I want people to listen to what I have to say in full context and understand that I am a fan of the series. I've actually read some of the light novels. I do enjoy the light novels, but because of how time constraint works and you can only read so many volumes in a day, in a week, in a year, there's limitations on how many light novels I can read. There's also just limitations based on, as a content creator, I like to make content that people are interested in, so I try to balance between what I enjoy and what my viewers enjoy. But as much as I, I like the first season of the anime, and I do like some aspects of season two and parts of season three, there are issues that I have with season two and, and parts of season three. And I know that there's going to be probably more issues with season three. And how do I know? Because of what it will be covering. And that's the problem. I know there are going to be problems. And this is where it comes down to one of those situations where a lot of light novel fans say this. And I do get annoyed at hearing it as well. Where people say, just read the light novels. And as much as that sounds great in theory... It's not always possible when people have jobs, other commitments, and as I just mentioned, you can't read every single light novel or manga on the entire planet, and there are a lot of series out there. That's why I love animes. Anime allows me to experience these stories in a more bite sizable chunk rather than having to read through 200, 300 pages of a book just to get at least two, three episodes out. Sometimes a little bit more depending on how much of the contents is in it. So that's the thing about the series. I really want to enjoy the anime for Classroom of the Elite, but it makes it really hard because of how rushed the story is in Classroom of the Elite. And for the most part, the structure is like it's understandable it's digestible is the best way to put it like you can understand the basics but my god is there a lot of stuff that has been skipped in class in the early a lot of context a lot of backstory a lot of side characters a lot of little i would say even ova moments or just bonus episodes where you can get a little bit more flavor of these characters and sure some people say oh well those aren't critical and i agree not everything in the light novels is critical and has to be in the anime but at the same time I, I would like some of it to at least be in the light novels but when you're cutting as much content as you are and rushing through the story as fast as you are it really dampens the experience again I've always been an advocate of someone that has always said you know anime to light novel is never going to be one-to-one -one. there's always going to be some core aspects changed and as long as the core story is there that is fine, but even then, the core story for Cars and the Elite is just severely rushed. Severely, like, thrown, like, things are just cut out and thrown to the sidelines. And not even just that, some of the animation quality has just been completely thrown to the side and had to be fixed in the physical releases. And that's what frustrates me about the series, is it's one of those situations where I have to say, and I hate saying it, Go read the light novels. But in this case, you could also read the manga as well. But again, not everyone has the time to do that. And that's what disappoints me because I do think it's a really good series. I think it it deserves a good adaptation. And I still remember the drama for season one where people said that season two would never happen because the writer was angry, the fans boycotted it, and so it was never going to get a season two. And I remember when I first covered the chance of a season two, I actually believed that there would be a season two, and then people told me about that, and then I was like, okay, well, clearly I'm going to have to change my mind based on this information. And then I got told at a later point after season two and three got confirmed that that information was over exaggerated by the anime community and it's one lesson that I've learned is not believe everything the anime community says even if there's a large consensus that says it because sometimes things just get made up and a large amount of the community just goes with the flow which just shows how herds of a pact can work in an anime community or any community but this is the thing I really 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 want class and the elite to do well as far as an anime goes but I know it's going to do terribly. And that is because it is covering the rest of the first year. And it's just one of those where I would prefer to go to the light novels. The thing that I love about Classroom of the Elite is the mysteriousness 
to it. The cold nature of the pr protagonist, the way it has some interesting metaphors in it, the characters and how they're all trying to one-up each other and the sliminess and the conniving and the backstabbing and all the rules and twisting and trying to find ways around it. There's so many cool characters in the series that aren't even just the main protagonist. There's all these different layers and you're finding out little things at a time. You're being bread, you know, breadcrumbs of information and it's just such a great series that has so many deep complex large characters in this story and it focuses on many different aspects of it and there's a lot to dive into from the main story to the kind of like the side story volumes where you get to see little bits and pieces of other romances other rivalries etc but all of that sk gets skipped over in the anime Especially in the first season where you've got the main protagonist coming up with these like 4D chess moves where he destroys a camera, digs this thing and sets a fire and gets someone else sick and manipulates everything to work exactly how he desires. And then in the second season where he gets into a massive fight and it's like, oh, you think I'm trapped? Ha, huh, actually, it's you that's in trouble. But then going into season three, there's many things that should have been developed already in the first episode but they just skipped over so much because nope we have to rush 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 because we need to get to the end of the first year and i just don't know if the writer was all on board with this and that was the point but at the end of the day i will say one thing and one thing that the anime does really well at making you want to read the light novels because it's so badly done in my opinion that it makes you want to go to the light novels to feel to read and feel the entire experience and understand all these characters and get that complete experience and yeah the anime is doing a great job at that honestly but it's also just really sad to see the anime do, do such a choppy job in many areas and i'm sure many anime only fans are going to be like no it's not that bad it's not that bad and i get that at the end of the day if you're an anime only it doesn't really matter because as long as the story is digestible that's all that matters but you also what you don't know there's a saying it's like you don't know what you don't know i think that's how you meant to word it and that's the thing like because you don't know what's missing you can't really understand why the experience is so damaged from an anime to a light novel perspective and I know that's going to be controversial because I know a lot of anime only fans are going to probably come after me. And I'm sure some light novel fans that really love the anime are probably going to come after me and be really angry. But again, this is just my own opinion. And I'm entitled to my own opinion, if, even if you don't agree with it. But that's the thing. I really want to enjoy the anime. And I'm still going to watch the anime, but I just wanted to put my own thoughts out there. But I'm not going to make some weekly video saying it's the end of the world or anything, but I'm just pointing out that... That's just how I feel about the series. That's where I go from it. I'm sure some people say that I'm going to hate watch it, but I'm not going to hate watch it. I'm just being critical of the experience that I know that I'm going to get and just giving my own thoughts and opinions in a video. And then from there on, unless I've got anything new to add to that conversation, I'm probably just going to let it rest. But maybe I might get into the light novels. Maybe if there's enough support and interest in it. Maybe if people really kick and scream, I could. But again, I say that about a bunch of other series as well, like bottom tier character and all that. And that's the problem. There are so many light novels out there. It's hard to fit all of them into a time slot where I can read them all. Unless I just became a full-time light novel review channel, which I just cannot physically do because light novel videos don't do as well so unless i had some large amount of people that were supporting me say like on patreon or something that were like yes we want you to do this content then maybe i could but again i just try to do the content that people enjoy that i also enjoy and i leave it at that but i am still in very much excited to see where the story goes for season three but i just had to get my own thoughts and opinions out there because it is the big concern that I have, and it's just a, f a feeling that I, I feel very strong about. So I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Who are your favorite characters in Classroom of the Elite, male and female? And if you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.